Hello Booktube, how are you doing? It's kind of weird doing this video because I'm not quite a Booktube newbie. Uh, this channel has been into book videos for more than a year. However, back when I started I was not aware of the Booktube tags. And once I found they existed, I said to myself, um, give it some time, get some content on and just do it. So yeah, it's not a Booktube newbie tag. However, I'll just do it because I'm bored and um, despite my uh, Batman shirt, I look kind of like a Two-Face because of the lightning. Forgive me for all those um, aesthetically non-pleasing stuff like being half lit or the mess my hair are in. No, it's not back from the zeros where emo was a thing. It's social distancing and lack of a good barber. So, without further ado, Let's go and do the booktube not so newbie tag. When do you start this channel? That's the first question and that's a good one because, um, well, I'm blunt about it. I'm an author and I read a lot and I want to do some platforming. So I started this channel as a way to uh, find um, an audience and also talk about my opinions about writing about books that I like mostly or maybe dislike but i'm not that negative uh, guy who at least no i'm that negative guy but my videos are not uh, so much focused on the negative side of um, smarmy videos about why you like books question number two what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube i'm much more of um adult book reader which, as far as I know, is not something that is huge on Booktube. I do a lot of fantasy and sci-fi and horror reading. I do some thriller reading, uh, too. And I think that there are, as far as I have found, of course, the categories that are underrepresented on Booktube, or they just have some interesting niches. Uh, what I'm going to do is try to go further from, I've read this book and here's what I thought and here's the synopsis. I'm trying to do uh, dives, the techniques, the themes, um, how these books affect literature, how they affected myself. My very first video was about how reading a horror novel actually changed things about how I view the world and uh, why I think it's important, how some stuff done in the books can help you become a better writer, a better person, and some of the themes behind books, classic books. I'd appreciate if you give a look to the videos already on the channel about books. What are you most excited for about this new channel? It's not new. <laughs> At this point, I see that there is a growing conversation with people. There are some interesting takes on my videos, uh, great comments, and actually, what's what I'm ex excited about at the moment is the possibilities, um, the ideas I'm getting and the things I want to do with this channel about bookies and not only booky stuff and that's what I'm excited about doing something new something that is not on booktube at the moment or I cannot find it or a different take on things that are on booktube doing interesting content that's what excites me what do you love reading? I love reading horror I love reading fantasy mostly older fantasy stuff like sword and sorcery and open fantasy and uh, i'm currently going into exploring little rpg i love cyberpunk i do some thriller reading because mostly because i want to write about supernatural and sci-fi police officers and i need to have an idea of action and how it works and mystery and thrillers all this. question number five what book or book series got you into reading uh when i was a kid i used to love reading jules verne and that's something that makes me a sci-fi geek from very early age i love these books because they were adventures they were they had these crazy ideas everything i still love about reading and i also loved reading edith blyton's the famous five uh series which was about children in solving crimes in England and it's sort of like Harry Potter for uh, those of us born before the 90s. Uh, they were fun adventure novels, uh, very light, they had interesting characters and they had a lot of similar books. There was a whole middle grade and young adult thrillers back then that were very popular. And uh, I remember reading uh, The Three Investigators too, which were more horror -y. 
a more hoary ver version of the famous five. Uh, cannot recall the author at the moment. Yes, I was uh, raised. Uh, I love reading by reading adventure, mystery, uh, science fiction. What question you, could, you would ask your favorite booktuber? Mm. You know what? Um, I don't like this question. Twitter is a thing and I can always try to talk to some booktubers I like on Twitter and uh, maybe they won't ignore me. As if I ask you a question on uh, Twitter, please answer. I don't think I have a question to ask. I don't think I even have a favorite booktuber. There are some booktubers I definitely like and uh, watch their videos, but I don't like. It's not like I can think of an answer to that. I'm sorry. Seven. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Oh boy, when I started, I w didn't thought of uh, this challenge that I'm currently understanding that is the, the hardest to overcome. What I didn't expect when I started booktubing was that uh, it's impossible to get views and to stand out. I wasn't expecting to be thrown into this uh, huge world of content with very little visibility because I was just uh, watching YouTube and I saw those uh, big channels explode all the time and I was like, wow, that's amazing. That's uh, YouTube is great for visibility and reality it was not the challenge that well, if you start booktube right now, bear in mind that it is very hard to stand out. You have to you may be lucky, but for most people, getting traction is very hard. There are ways around it. Well, a guy with 170 subs at the moment won't be the best source. Give you advice on how to overcome this challenge because I haven't found the solution yet. But there are some ways to work it out. Maybe there'll be another video. So that was my booktube not so newbie tag. And I hope you don't dislike this video for being way too late at this channel. Actually, you know what the challenge I had when I began was how can you tr keep track of your video production? And uh, yeah, I haven't found the answer. If you watch this tag, you clearly know I haven't found the answer yet because this uh, video is a year too late. I hope you had fun. Feel free to comment, leave your questions. And I don't know, maybe uh, if we ever hit 200 subs, I'll answer these questions in another video. We're getting close, I think. Uh, at this rate, this sounds growing. Be at 2,000. Uh, thousand <laughs> two hundred sub by the end of may if everything goes well stay safe have fun keep reading and i'll see you soon with another video feel free to check my bookish videos i'll see you hope you had fun bye bye